we are at the point now with truly wireless headphones that you can get a decent and serviceable pair of headphones for like 30, 35 bucks. And I reviewed quite a few of them and all the links to that up here. But it goes without saying that if you want more from your pair of headphones, active noise cancellation would probably be the next logical progression. And today, I wanna go ahead and feature two pairs of headphones priced right under $70 at $59.99 that offer two different approaches to active noise cancellation. My name is Mitchell. I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. I'm out here in a beautiful park in Hanoi, Vietnam, and I want to talk to you guys today about active noise canceling headphones. My experience with the Pamu Quiet Mini priced at $59.99, along with the Elevoc Clear, which is a new pair of headphones from a new incoming brand. Now, the first pair of headphones we're going to talk about today is the Pamu Quiet Mini, and my pair is particularly dirty because I have used them quite a lot. Now they feature Bluetooth 5.2, a custom chipset for PAMU. Uh, they have uh, AAC as well as SBC audio. Headphone playtime is a little over three and a half hours. Case time is around 12, 12 and a half. And the case does charge via USB type C. I have more on my little MagSafe charging adapters for it. Uh, it's got a quick charge feature where if they're completely dead, 15 minutes of charging gets you like two hours. And I use these headphones predominantly on my Mac Mini, uh, simply because the microphone for them, as you guys can hear, is pretty good. But let's go ahead and take a look at what this upcoming challenger is back at home. Now coming home right in the nick of time, we got the Elevoc Clear. Now the Elevoc Clear are what I'm currently using to record the audio right now, but let's take a look at this Bluetooth headset because this headset has a trick feature up its sleeve. Okay guys, the challenger for today is the Elevoc Clear. Now this is a pre-production sample of the Elevoc Clear. Battery life on these bad boys is around five, four and a half to five hours, depending upon what you're doing with them. Case should give you up to five full charges. So total headphones plus case, you're looking at potentially 30 hours of playback time. I would say real world usage with these, you're probably looking at a little closer, 20 to 25 hours, depending upon what your usage is with them. And I think that these headphones are pretty interesting. They have Bluetooth 5.2, but their active environmental noise cancellation is really the party trick that they have. Now, the construction of these is almost identical to that of the Pamu Quiet Mini. I would say that the case for these does feel a little bit better. It stays open nicer. It's got an indicator and a reset light on the bottom, which is a cool, handy feature. Just like the Pamu, they charge over USB-C, although they do not feature Qi wireless charging. And my experience with these has been mixed because at first I thought the ANC wasn't that great. I was apparently just locked inside, went outside on the street, tried it. I was blown away with the ANC, the ENC on these, as, as you guys can hear, is pretty good. And together, I think that these are a very interesting pair of headphones to come to market, especially because of how good the mic quality is at blocking, blocking out environmental noise. Because the Clear are the newest headphone that I've reviewed, one of the most recent headphones I've reviewed. I wanted to answer one question that I had from a commenter, which was whether or not the mic would work well with just one microphone. And as you guys see, one mic in ear, microphone works totally fine. Now, both of these headphones are going to feature three different modes for active noise cancellation. They're going to feature an on, an ambient, and then an active noise cancellation mode off. Now, the noise cancellation of the Elevoc Clear is definitely somewhat superior to that 
of the PAMU quiet. I would say that it's in tangible sense, anywhere between 15 to maybe 20% better uh, in regards to the active noise cancellation that we have on them, especially in regards to constant noise that we have. For irregular noise, the Elevox there definitely are pretty similar for honking, uh, honking cars, but for something like just cars going by, the kind of steady background noise, both of these headphones are gonna be in a similar lead. One area that both of these headphones are actually pretty similar with is their ambient mode. Now on the original Pamu Quiet, the ambient mode for them was a little bit weird. It wasn't exactly fully flushed out and I had this weird sound to my voice. On the Elevox Clear, the ambient mode for those is fantastic. My test for how good of an ambient mode we might have is whether or not I can speak Vietnamese, which is a monosyllabic tonal language when using a pair of headphones for in their ambient mode. This is incredibly difficult to do. I have to be able to hear inflections for the six different tones that we have in Vietnamese because literally ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma are different, oh, and ma are different words. And so being able to distinguish between all of those subtle tones can be incredibly difficult to do, which is why I find that that is the best test if I can use the ambient mode and speak Vietnamese because not all headphones have an equal ambient mode. Now, neither of these headphones is without faults. And now we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the quirks, features, and bad sides of both the Elevoc Clear as well as the Pamu Quiet Mini. I got the Elevoc Clear in right now, so I might as well talk about them. And there's definitely quite a few things to talk about in regards to negatives of these headphones. And we just gotta start off with the range. Range is average at best. Now, when these headphones are on your person in a bag, no issues. But if you have the phone charging and you're maybe five to six meters away or you have a wall in between you, don't expect to get coverage with them. Definitely not as good as the Pamu Quiet. Next up is the controls. Now the fact that we have no volume control is eh, but the fact that there's no volume control and no assistant is a huge bummer for me. Next up is the proximity sensor that they have. Now, this is a great feature, but why the proximity sensor doesn't activate the ambient mode, I have no idea, because I would rather use the awesome ambient mode than take the headphones out of my ears. So, in my opinion, that is a huge, just missed opportunity in regards to the software front of the Elevoc Clear. Now, even though the Pamu Quiet Mini lack some of the same acute problems as the Elevoc Clear, they're not perfect. We gotta start off with the case. The case not having any kind of real indication of how much charge you have left is a big miss in my book. Uh, the fact that the headphones themselves use a custom ear gel, it is frustrating and if you use these headphones a lot, you're gonna end up wearing the ear gels out like I have within maybe a year, year and a half and finding replacements for your size that are gonna be going to give you the same performance is definitely a downside. Also, battery life of the case is not spectacular and the Elevot Clear have a much, much better battery life for the case. You're getting an extra five to 10 hours extra at minimum. Now, it's also worth mentioning that both of these headphones have an app. Really, the apps are the bare minimum. For the Elevoc Clear, you can go ahead and adjust the amount of active or environmental noise cancellation that they apply to the microphone uh, and then save it to the headphone so that it's, they're saved at that setting. For the Pamu Quiet and Pamu Quiet Mini, the Pamu Quiet Mini, uh, you can go ahead and adjust what amount of 
active noise cancellation if you want to be able to have an off function for it from because from the factory the Pamu Quiet have ambient mode and ANC on, no ANC off, non-ambient. And then you can go ahead and choose between what they call their original sound and then the whatever other sound. Uh, I have this turned off and it has a little bit more bass and I love it. Yo, check out, like, I don't know if these are farmers, but people just go ahead and start growing, like in a city block here at Vietnam if it hasn't been developed yet. And then when people develop on, they just get kicked off. Now to wrap things up, which one is better? Which one would I buy? Well, this is a little bit trickier of a decision than just there's a winner and there's a loser. On one case, the ceiling for the best performance you can get, the Elevat Clear are better at the top but they can also be much, much worse at their worst. Whereas the Pamu Quiet Mini are very good, maybe not quite as good, but still very good, but they never actually get that bad. They're always quite passable and quite serviceable and for $60, pretty impressive. Now the question is which one should you buy? now that we've established that there isn't one that's significantly better than the other. In this case, I have to go Pamu Quiet Mini for the sheer reason that Pamu has been a little bit, Pamu has been around a little bit longer. Uh, I feel that overall in regards to durability, I have tested the Pamu Quiet Mini extensively for over eight months, almost every day, and they perform flawlessly still. So, let me know what you guys think. I think at $59, both of these are good options, but clearly one of them is just a little bit better. What do you think? Peace.